I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. Another week has rolled by. God has been with us, blessed, and helped us. Maybe you've had some hard times this week, maybe some joyful times, but the Lord is in the middle of it all, and He's always there. And that's the wonderful thing about knowing Jesus. He said He'd never leave us or forsake us. We have a sermon today. We're going to be preaching about liar, liar, tongue on fire. And so call your friends and tell them, oh boy, this, is, this sounds like a barn burner. And let's see what he's got. Give him a ring. We'll be looking at James chapter 5. Well, we're reading from James chapter 3 today. And uh, then we'll also look at James chapter 5. But our, our scripture will be James chapter 3, beginning with verse 5. And then we'll have our prayer. And in our prayer today, we're going to pray for our brothers and sisters in Egypt. Christian brothers and sisters in Egypt uh, and the persecution they're going through. All over the world, this horrible persecution. Satan is having his heyday. But I'm going to tell you, one of these days, the trumpet's going to sound and the Lord is going to descend from power of heaven with great power and he's going to rule and reign for a thousand years and then there will be a tribulation period and all and then, uh, and then we'll have the end of the world and we'll all be with the Lord so that there's going to be an end to this suffering for Christians and all of those Christians that are dying receive going to receive a wonderful uh, crown of the martyrs and we need to pray for them and their families but first we're James chapter 3 beginning with the fifth verse even so the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it destroyeth, defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and and is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beasts, and of birds, and of serpents, and of things in the sea is tamed, and hath been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is unruly, full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Amen to that. Dear Lord, we're going to be talking about the tongue today, and we're praying that we'll every Christian, all of us, will have dedicated tongues and we use those tongues to bless God and to bless people and to help people and to keep it under control. We can't do it ourselves. We have to have your help, Lord. And so we pray that we'll be people of, who know you and love you and speak of your goodness and your love. And Lord, we are praying now for the, our brothers and sisters in Egypt. And we know we read about how they're being put to death right now to the Probably this very hour we speak may be somebody, some Christian in Egypt, and they're taking off his head, or they're pu- or it might be children. They're killing the children, Lord, innocent little children and the women. And they, they are set on fire of hell as they go out to punish the church of God, the people of God. And so we just pray you'll give them grace and strength. And we pray for those who remain behind that you'll ju- I know your arms will be around them. May there be a special uh, feeling of your presence, Lord. And may they just lean on you and trust you. And someday you'll put an end to it all. Thank you that you're the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And you tarry, Lord. You just tarry. You just wait a little bit longer because that'll give a little somebody else a chance to come to you and be saved. Maybe some of those are watching and listening right now, Lord, and you're tarrying to give them time to come and call in the name of the Lord and ask Jesus to come into their heart, confessing their sins and asking for forgiveness. And whosoever will call in the name of the Lord will be saved. Maybe that's why you tarry, but there we know you, we know that you're not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. So may many come during this very service. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.